Hello, welcome, Mr. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. Thank you. And you? I'm fine, Mr. I'm fine. I, are, I, what are you doing right now? <laughs> yeah, I, 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 lo I lost the the last class on uh, Thursday. Oh, yeah. I have to That's work right. at night. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. yeah, but but you can check um the 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 videos on YouTube if you want to 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 check the the topic that we we're discussing last class. Okay. You can do it that in that way if you want. Thank you, teacher. I, I yeah, I, I think that you are it. one of the of the person that complete at least the ninety percent or more than that, I guess, um, of of this course, because you you have been in all. Well, I think that you have been in all the classes, right? Just uh, Thursday now, right? Yeah, the the last uh, week I lost two classes. The two only classes? first two classes, yeah. Okay. In, okay. In the course, um, but I uh, I want to ask the uh, every week this week. Okay. Hey, but did you complete the the, the exercise on, on the platform? I complete uh, the the most of them, but I I. I I realize the eighty percent or more of that at the at the end. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Do you request? Do you request the, the certification? Because there is an option there. Do you can do it? Yeah, I, it? I, I I do. Oh, okay. Yeah, I have it there. Yes. Okay. I think. Okay, you can download that diploma and you can print it if you want. Yes, uh, I. I have to print. It. I have to. I have to uh, four diplomas. Uh, four diplomas. This, yes. In and where do, where do you start? Do you start from the beginning, uh, in the first level, or uh, or do you take a test? I take a test. I took a test, and and I. I begin an intermediate, uh, two. Okay. Eleven. Yeah. Oh. Yes, so that's I, mean that in that moment, in that moment, you take a test, a, like a pl placement test, and you start when? In uh, the in twenty in twenty nineteen, and like the John John July. Okay. Yeah, I begin with the. The courses. Oh, okay, okay, very good. So I don't know if you asking me if uh, you studied uh, in other place before. <laughs> I no, no, no. I, I was asking you what uh, what level do you do you start in the, in that moment? Uh, okay, is uh, the intermediate? Intermediate. Yeah. Oh, very good. Yeah. Very good. Uh, That's mean that you I have you have knowledge in, in English. Yes, uh, I have. You have previous knowledge. You had previous knowledge. Yeah, I have previous knowledge. I studied in two uh, sites before. I studied in the Academia Europea. Oh, yeah. Nice. During two years, but uh, only on Saturdays. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, very good. And, uh, after I studied uh, at six months in another place to improve the English, oh, but I okay. think that I I I think that is uh, difficult <laughs> to me. <laughs> I you think it I, is difficult? Yeah, I the 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 high level. I think. <laughs> oh no no no! You you must keep practicing. That's that's the key. Practicing. And try to, um, if you want, try to uh, practice with someone who can speak English. So in that way, you will be listening and, and you will be learning vocabulary and also pronunciation of some words. That is helpful. Do you have family in the United States? No, I, I didn't have. 
Oh, you don't have. But yeah. maybe you had friends or or, or not? Uh, not really that I like English or speak English. No. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Not really. Yeah. It's... Okay, but there are there are some platforms that you can use for for uh, chatting. Okay, there yeah. you can be you there you can be discussing English in English. There are a lot oh, of things. Yes, I, I I I know the some platform in during these courses. Oh, okay, very good. Looking for some something something oh. else. Yeah. Okay, very good. That's good. <laughs> okay. <Thank> uh, <laughs> okay. Welcome, uh, Miss Lopez. How are you? Mm, I can listen to you, <laughs> but welcome. Okay, let me see who else, Evaristo, welcome. How are you? Do you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you now, Miss. Okay. Okay, welcome. Good evening, teacher, how are you? <laughs> how are you, man? Uh, I'm here just trying to start class. Uh, so welcome, uh, let me see um, who else, I can see the list, why not, oh, okay, okay, he's here, okay, ah, okay, uh, let me see who else, Miss Bere, Miss Elaya. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, how are you? I'm doing okay. Thank you. What okay. about you? I'm fine, Miss. Do you work today? No. Day no? off. Oh, very good. <laughs> That's great. Um, yes. <laughs> okay, welcome, Miss. Uh, let me see who else. Uh, Miss Vidal. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you? I'm fine, and you? I'm fine too, miss. Do you attend the last class? Yes, on Thursday? Yes, on Thursday. Yes. Okay, very good. Um, let me ask you the, um, well, to all of you, I need a confirmation if you complete uh, all the exercise on the platform. Uh, well, we're going to miss some some of them because uh, can cannot be fixed. Uh, but um, I guess without them, you can uh, you can get at least the eighty percent of, of of the of the course. Uh, so I need the confirmation. Mr. Ramirez already completed the the exercise on the platform. Um, and what about the others? Let's see, um, Miss Sandoval, do you complete it? Good evening, Mister. See, yes, I finished the platform. Okay, very good. Uh, and I have someone who, um, let me see. Okay, I had someone who who haven't seen. Ah, uh, tell me. I'm still having a problem with the uh, final exam, the part B. Part B. So in that yes. case, in that case, Miss, um, I, I contact uh, the technical support, but uh, the problem haven't been solved yet. So um, I'm so sorry for that uh, because it's outside me because uh, there's someone else who is managing the, the, the platform. And I can do anything with uh, with that uh, with that uh, problem, with that mistake in the platform. But um, I will be sending message because let's see if they if they can solve it. But uh, without that exercise, I guess you you can get the eighty percent, right? Do you get it? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah, it's it's okay, no problem. But thank you. Okay. Okay. Um, let me see. 
Uh, well, I need confirmation. Can you please tell me in the chat if you complete the platform? Uh, all the ones, let me see, Miss uh, Sandoval already said yes. Uh, Miss Garcia, do you complete it? Yes, teacher. I finished. Okay, okay very good. Excellent. Uh, Miss Lopez, do you complete all the exercises? The exercise, yes. The final exam, I'm still in section B. But do you get the eighty percent of of the um, of the course? Yes, I am eighty six, I guess. Eighty six. Okay, that's good. Because you need at least eighty uh, percent. Let me see, Mister Evaristo. Mister Evaristo, you completed the. Okay. Okay, very good. Excellent. You answer me using the chat. Um, Ms. Elaya, did I ask you? Yes, I already finished. Okay, very good. Uh, who else? What about the others? Oh, I had someone who have, haven't been identified that is neat dealer. I don't know who is that person. Okay, I had someone uh, who is neat dealer. Uh, well, he will wait. Uh, let me see. Mr. Torres. Welcome. Hi, sure. Nice to see you again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mr. I was asking uh, to everybody if uh, um, do you complete the exercise in the platform? Not yet, teacher. I had the midterm exam, or I guess midterm uh, exam. Okay, but but you need uh, to get the eighty percent, and that's something that you must finish this week because you. How many days do we have? Huh? Until Thursday. Until Thursday, yes. Okay. Uh, yes. I'll be finished soon. <laughs> Okay, the thing is, you, you must complete at least the 80%. That's, that's, the, oh, that's okay. the goal, okay? To go to okay. the, the next level. As you notice, uh, the, uh, Miss Elena sent you a message and it says that you must complete the 80% of in the platform and also the 80% um, in, in this video conference to get okay. uh, or to, to, to go to, to do um, pre intermediate three, I guess. Yes. Pre, pre okay. okay, so you must complete it. Yes, uh, thanks, teacher. Okay, it's just a reminder because you had till Thursday, this, uh, till this coming Thursday. Okay, uh, let me see. I think that, uh, well, you are 10 right now. So I think you are all of 10. Oh, Mr. Hernandez. Good evening, Mr. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Thank okay. you. Okay, very good. Mr., do you complete the, the exercises? And the complete platform? Yes. Well, at least the 80%. Do you have uh, the 80% uh, completed? Uh, yes, I complete 90%. 90, 90 the 90 percent ah, okay that's good that's good yes and the last sunday oh very good so because you must finish this you are going to finish this coming thursday uh let me see i will share to you the ppt um just give me a second because um Okay, I will share with you uh, the PPT and the PowerPoint presentation. And today we're going to be working um, to be working in the last section.
of the course. Okay, here we have. Uh, this, is the co the, the, this is the cover that we had for in Inglés Corporativo uh, for today, to, tonight class. Uh, and here we have the objective. This is the objective that we're going to be uh, working, so and we must achieve tonight. And it says, in this class, you will listen to a conversation about war history. Notice, holding me reference to time in past. Okay, is that what we are going to uh, achieve? Let me see, someone is sending message to the chat. Uh, it says, uh, I'll read completely, hello, I guess, uh, I'm Sarah, nice to meet you. Oh, you're chatting there. Okay. Um, let me see. We're going to see this quote. It made me you to practice your English. So for that reason, you're going to give me an opinion about this quote. Read the quote, and then uh, I will be asking you one by one. Okay? Read the, um, the quote. It says, do not go where the path may lead. Go instead where there is no path and leave a trail. Okay. Um, is anyone here who wants to participate or do I have to choose one? Any volunteer? All of you are going to participate. All of you are going to give me an opinion, okay? But who wants to start? Or, or well, or I will choose it. If you don't want to participate, I will do it. Uh, let me see. Um, Michelle, okay, you are the lucky one. You are the first one. I you have to read it. You have to give me an opinion about this quote. It's, it's um, just for practicing. And also we're going to be developing our thinking. Uh, check it out. It says, do not go where the path may lead. Go instead where there is no path and leave a trail. Okay. What do you think about it? Tell me your own opinion. Miss? Are you there, Miss? I can hear you. She ran away. <laughs> oh, okay. I think I'm here. Ah, uh, okay, okay. <laughs> Go ahead. So tell me. I don't know if I understand very well, but I think um, we have to to go for the things that we want, mm -hmm. and um, we don't have to do the things because the other people do. We have to do because we want, and maybe there are or dreams or something like that. Okay, very good. Thank you. Good comment. Uh, okay, Miss Lopez, you're raising your hand. <laughs> yes, uh, I guess that try to say, if you want to do something, make it original. Yeah. Okay. Try to put your own, how do you mean? You to wear, they have to wear. Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, same like another people. Okay. Okay. Uh, very good. Thank you for your comment. Uh, I was checking that someone sent a message to the WhatsApp group. In oh well, no, it was private. Hi, teacher, and when the hours I think connect because my laptop is so oh, okay. So sorry. There is someone who is trying to to connect to the video class, but well, she can't. 
let me see. Who else? Mr. Torres? I think that we have to to follow of our way to make uh, different choices like everyone and we have to innovate of our lives or things to do okay thank you very good excellent uh let me see miss garcia okay I think the people don't don't take the easy ways. Mm -hmm. And instead the people uh, maybe uh, take a um, challenge in in be original in let's uh, uh, new 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 goals um have a a new uh owner experiences okay. okay okay thank you very good um let me see mr ramirez what can you tell about it i think that uh, there is a some some words that uh, people says that you uh, sometimes you have to go out from your uh, comfort zone uh, can be in this case uh, use it because you can do it something new that uh, maybe uh, anything else uh, don't didn't before. Okay, thank you. Very good. Uh, Miss Sandoval? I seen, I see no follow other. Fear myself. Okay. Probably that. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Thank you. Uh, let me see. Um, who else? Mr. Hernandez? You already participate? Uh, yes, teacher. Okay, okay. So, Mr. Evaristo. Um, I think uh, we have to try to do something new and create uh, our own path for others to follow. Uh, you know, God creators like uh, creators like a unique person um, we have to leave our mark in the world okay thank you very good excellent who is missing who else is missing mr torres oh miss gabriela yes um, I think everyone must make their own way. Um, everybody can do amazing things in their life. So we should always try to do new things and never get carried by away by the others are doing because everyone is incredible. Okay, thank you, very good. Uh, Mr. Torres, do you already participate? Uh, yes. Okay. I participate. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you. Sorry, because I, I don't worry. <laughs> I have a problem with the list here because all of you are moving. <laughs> and and there, it, I have me. a question. Okay. Tell me. What is the difference between way and path? The way. same. Okay. Um, Way in sa and specific is something that you must follow. Okay, if you wanna go in in a specific way, okay. And path, it's like a small a uh, um, small street where you uh, go to a specific uh, point. Um, 
like if we the the, the, the equivalent in, in in Spanish must be like a uh, camino, okay. Thank you. Okay, very good. So let me see. Okay, I think that all of you already participate. That's what I think. Um, and yes, I like your um, comments about it. And most of you um, say, okay, everybody says that uh, something important here is that we we have to be original in things that we that we do. Okay, no follow a uh, other other people. Okay, just be original with the things you do. Why? Because uh, because um, sometimes uh, those things that we're following um, not doesn't. Um, doesn't have or that thing that we're following doesn't have um, a, a good final, okay? Because um, sometimes um, for just for following people or just for uh, following the, the, the way that other people are acting, uh, we can fail um, in, in, in our path. Because uh, if we made the things different, okay, we're going to to, to feel good about our uh, about our, our life, and that's a good um, way to um, highlight ourselves. I I'm checking here the topic that we're going to be developing. Uh, for tonight class in it in the topic is I'm good at history okay I'm good at history um first of all we're going to see some things uh we're going to check um, English words to talk to talk about time in the past okay here we have some words uh, that are often used to make reference uh, with a specific um, uh, uh, tenses, in this case, in the past simple tense. These one are used in, 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 that, in that context. Uh, the first word that we have here is a go, okay? Is a go. This word we use is when we refer to in a specific time, okay? In a specific time, uh, where, uh, well, I can say that we are here in present, and if we want to make reference to a specific time, we we can use, okay, uh, years, days, hours, minutes, and we are going to use a call to set that time that oh, happened, uh, happened in the past, okay. And also we're going to uh, say the action that happened in that moment. Here we have an example and it says, five years ago, okay, may in reference to five years that happened, that, that already happened, uh, I broke my leg. This is the event, the event that happened five years ago. Okay, check it out this. Um, <laughs> Tell me. Okay, okay. Thank you for letting me know, Mr. Uh, Sanchez. Okay. Um, I was telling you that in this case, uh, we have a, like a, an explanation. It, it says present year, that is a uh, 2000, uh, 17, five years ago, the year was uh, 2012, okay? Um, she had a baby a month ago. In this case, if we notice, uh, tell me. Tell me. Uh, 
tell me, Mr. Hernandez. No, teacher, sorry, sorry. Okay. Uh, that means that in that time, something happened, okay? And if we say five years ago, five years ago, we're specifying the time when it happened, when something happened, okay? Here we have another example, and it says, she had a baby a month ago, okay? Or we can use a week ago, two weeks ago, but we can say, okay? We can say a day ago, okay? Why? Because there is something that uh, has been said for uh, saying um, that phrase, a day ago. What is that phrase? Yesterday. Instead of saying a day ago, okay, which is wrong to say a day ago, uh, that's wrong, we must say yesterday to specify that something happened the previous day to this. Okay, so we must keep in count that uh, for the following exercise that we're going to be solving. Um, here we have also, I mean, uh, the, the second word it says last. Um, it works like saying a goal, okay, but in this case, um, specifying that we are not specifying and a specific uh, date or time. It is last week, but we don't know if, if it is, if it, that action happened uh, on Monday, on, well, Thursday, or we don't know uh, the day, the specific day that that action happened. And it says, last week, I went to London, okay, last week, I went to London because that action happened, ha has already happened, but we don't know uh, this specific day. We know that it, it, it happened last week, but we don't know um, that uh, when, it, when it happened, okay? Check it out. The second example, it says, last year I visit the USA. Last year, ah, but but when, when it, do you visit it on, on September? Do you visit it on December? Do you visit it on January? Okay, there is no specific uh, time using last. We're referring just to any specific period. Okay, last week, last year, last month, okay? It is different if we say, um, a week ago, why? Because seven days ha ha happened before the present day, okay? And in that case, we know, we know the specific uh, date, the specific time that it happened, okay? Uh, it could be, for instance, when you are saying, when, when someone asked you in, in, in the, and as something has presently happened, you say uh, two hours ago, okay, or three hours ago, we are referring in a specific time. So the, the same happens with this. But in the case of last, we are, we are saying things just for a period of time. Could be a week, it could be a year, it could be a month, or also it could be a century, okay? so. We know the period, but we don't know the specific date. Um, check it out this. Here we have in, uh, okay. Here we have in. And here we have an example. It says, she was born in the last century, okay? In the 70s, this community was very pop popular. Okay, in those days, they were in many cars on the road. In these cases, we are also using in, and we are not specifying the specific uh, date or the specific time that something happened. Okay, 
we are saying things in general, okay, in the 70s, okay, in the 70s. Um, but we don't know uh, uh, the specific year, we don't know it, okay. In those days, oh, in those days, uh, which days? Which days? We don't know. In the last century, in the last, okay, we know the period, but we don't know the specific uh, date of that century. So in this case, we're going to use in, when we're referring just to a period of time. It says that we, uh, in this case, uh, we have a uh, prepositions of time when we are um, trading sentences. We use prepositions with times and dates, okay? And there is something well, that we must remember. And it says that we can use this with past, present, and future time forms, okay? Um, we can use on with, uh, with a date. And we can construct a sentence saying, I start work on Monday, on Monday. If we're going to refer to a specific um, date of the, of the week, it could be Sunday, Friday, Wednesday. So we're going to use on, okay? I start work on Monday, okay? Or we can use it in, in, in present, for instance, okay? I uh, travel, okay, I travel on, Sunday, okay, I travel on Sunday. So that means that uh, all Sundays I'm traveling. Um, if I say uh, a sentence in the future, uh, I can construct it like just adding the wheel in, in the ver verb base. Uh, I mean, the, the base form of the verb, and I can do it. I will start work. I will start work on Monday. So in this case, we're using on to um, referring to a specific day. Also, we use on with month, but when we use when we add the, the date in a specific, for instance, it could be um, on December 70, okay, on December 1st and December 2nd. So we can use it in that way. We use it in a specific day. Um, also, we have another uh, example that it says British people often eat turkey on Christmas day. Why? Because why, why, are we use, why are we using on? Because we're specifying in a specific day on Christmas day. Okay, when is Christmas day? When is Christmas day? December 24th. December, December 25. Okay, December 25. That's Christmas Day. Um, in this case, we know it. Okay, even though if we if we say Christmas Day, we know the date. For that reason, we're going to use on. Okay, instead of in. But we're going to see that. Um, also, we use at when we refer to a cloud time or a period of time. I will stop here and I will ask you. Um, it is clear how we use on and where we use on. Is it clear? Oh, yes. 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 Okay. yes. okay, very good. Thank you for answering. Um, it says here, at it is used uh, with a close time, and also it is used um, in a period of time. And here we have some of the examples. And it says, I finish work at 6 p.m. At 6 p.m. Okay, this is a close time. Okay, this is this is a clock time. Uh, could be at 12. Okay. It could be a tree, so but we're going to use at in this sentence when we when we use um, we refer to an action, an action. 
Okay, I finished work at six. Um, also, we have the other example. It says they ate lunch at midday. This is an action that already happened, but we know the specific period of time. Uh, when is midday? When is midday? Do you know it? Uh, 12 p.m. Okay, 12 p.m. Sure. Lunch time. It's lunch time. Okay, very good. Lunch time. Uh, midday, it's from uh, 12 a.m. 12 p.m., it's uh, 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 at night. Uh, midnight. Midnight, okay, midnight. Uh, let me see. The other example says, what do you normally do at Christmas? What do you normally do at Christmas? In this case, we're using at because Christmas, okay, it is used for uh, a specific time, okay, Christmas. Uh, the other example says she goes out with her friends at the weekend, at the weekend, okay, in a specific period of time because weekends happen from Saturday to Sunday, okay. Um, in the last example that we have here, it says I don't like going out at night. I don't like going out at night. What are we using at? Oh, because in this case, it is a period of time. Night happens from 8 p.m. to 12. Um, let me see. In, Teacher. tell me. In, on the weekend, it can be at the weekend, the two forms. Okay, uh, here is here is a here is a, a difference between using British English and American English. Uh, both are correct. If we say at the weekend, it's correct. If we say on the weekend, it's correct. Both are correct. But the uses the uses um, that we have here, the first one is used in British English. Okay, uh, they they use it in in that way. But you you as, as an English speaker, you can use it too. And is it correct? Don't worry about it. Uh, the thing is, we're going to differentiate those, uh, those phrases uh, in, in, in British English because it is, common to, it is common to listen people uh, from, um, from England to say it at the weekend. But American, uh, Americans, they say on the weekend, and both are correct. Tell me. Teacher, okay. I have a Thank question. You. Okay. Uh, to refer to time, we use at all time. Um, how so? Uh, to refer to time, we use at all time. At all time? You mean uh, in, all, in all time? No. Uh, in this case, we are going to use at with a clock time, okay, with clock time, or mm -hmm. when we have a period of, a period of time. Uh, for instance, if you say 2 p.m., you are going to use at. If you say a period of time, you are going to use at to. Uh, when we refer to a period of time, we're referring to um, uh, and a specific time that start at this point and finish at this point, okay? So Christmas happened just uh, on December 25, okay? In that way, mm -hmm. it's in a, specific, uh, in a specific time. Or for example, at the weekend, at the weekend, when it happened, okay, it happened from Saturday to Sunday, weekend. Um, at night, okay, when it happened, that's a period of time. It is, it commonly happened, in, well, in Salvador, it commonly happened from six to 12, okay? From six to 12. Um, that's, a, that's it. So if we refer to a clock time, we're going to use at. If we refer to, to a period of time, we're going to use at. Is it clear? 
Yes. Thank you, teacher. Okay, very good. Welcome. Let's go to the following in. Okay, this is uh, this is easy one because we have um it, it is common use and also it has some specific uh, ways to use it. In it is used with a century, okay, a, a year, a month, a season, or part of the date. Also, check it out this. Um, in the first example that we have here, it says they got married in 2010, okay, 2010. That's a year, okay. She went on holiday in, in March, okay, that's a month. They go to the beach in summer, okay, that's a season. And she goes shopping in the morning. In this case, this is a part of the day. Could be morning, afternoon, evening, okay, or night. But in this case, if we say the specific day, we must use on. If I say on Tuesday morning, okay, if I say on Tuesday morning, I'm going to use on because I'm using the specific day. I'm not referring to a part of, of the day, no. I'm referring to a specific day and the period or, or, or the part of that day. Uh, so we don't have to confuse this. Um, in the morning, we are referring just to, to the specific um, uh, period of time. And if we say on Tuesday morning, we are referring to the specific day and also the specific period of time. Is it clear? Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. Yes. yes. Okay. Very good. So we're going to the following. Also, in the afternoon, in the evening, and in the night, um, it's one of the uses for this word. And it says, for instance, they left early in the evening. Okay, in the evening. So we're using in. Um, or we can say, I heard a strange noise in the night. Okay. And it, 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 is, it is correct in, in, on those cases, as I told you before, is it correct? Well, we also had four, okay? In four, it is used to talk about lack of time, okay? A lack of time could be, if we refer, for instance, in the, in the sentence number one, she stayed for an hour. Okay, that is a lack of time for an hour. So in this case that, that we have a lack, uh, we must specify, uh, or, I mean, we must use for. Uh, the second example says he went away for the weekend. Okay, he went away for the weekend. So in this case, there is a lack, okay? There's a lack of time. During, during, okay? It, this one, it is used at some point in a period of time. The first example, it says, it rained during the night. If you notice, this is an, um, an a specific point in a period of time. So if we refer, if we make reference to a specific point in a period of time, so we are going to use during, okay, during. Uh, the second example that we have here, it says they are during the holidays. Holidays is in a specific period of time and we're using during, okay, because something happened at one point, but in that period. What are some of the common errors or common mistakes that that um, that make us confused in in English? Here we have the first one. It says don't confuse for and ago. Okay, for and ago. 
For, in this case, it refers to a lack of time. That's what we're discussing. And here we have an example. And it says, I lived there for a year. Okay, for a year. We are referring to a specific uh, uh, lack of time, okay, or period of time. And ago, okay, refers to a point in a time, a specific point, okay? But this specific point is separated by lack of between now and then, okay? Um, and here we have an example. It says, I moved there a month ago. If this month is February, okay, a month ago is January. So in that case, we're going to use a golf. Let me see. Um, okay. We're going to check the video that we have in the, uh, uh, in the platform. And then you are going to, uh, we're going to be talking about it. We're going to be discussing all the information that we have here. Give me a second. I will go to this video. Can you see the screen that I'm sharing right now? Can you see the screen? No, not teacher. Not teacher. No, not teacher. Give me a second then. Here. Okay. Okay, uh what about now? Can you can you uh see not yet. You see this the the oh in the screen? Not yet. Yes. 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 You can see. Yeah. Can you listen? No, teacher. No. Okay. Give me a second now. Sure. 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 Okay. Join us in the last section. What about now? Yes. Okay, very good. Yeah. So please watch the video and then we're going to be um, talking about the, the information that we have here. So pay attention to it. Join us in the last section of this course. We want you to answer the following questions. Number one, do you know when World War I began? How long has the United Nations been in existence? How long were the Beatles together for? If you really know the answers, type them in. I'm good at history. Part A. Listen and practice. Look, here's a quiz on events of the 20th century. Oh, let me give it a try. I'm good at history. All right. First question. When did World War I begin? I think it began in 1917. Huh. And how long has the United Nations been in existence? Uh... Since Kennedy became president in 1961. Hmm. Next question. How long were the Beatles together? Well, they started in 1965 and broke up in 1980, so they were together for 15 years. So, how am I doing so far? Not very well. Not one of your answers is correct. We want you to stay and listen to the... <laughs> okay. Um, and you, do you know, do you know, uh, where World War uh, began? Uh -huh. Do you know it? No. 
No remember. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we don't I remember. I think it was 19, in 1914. Huh? 1914? Mm, kind of. Because if we notice... 1914. In, Ah, 1914, yes, yeah. Uh -huh. 1914, okay. yeah. Okay, I, I listen 17. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay. Um, yes, it, it happened in 1914. And what about uh, the second question? It says, how long has the United States nation been in existence? You know the answer? No, oh, teacher. I only remember a little of the, the second war. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Its foundation happened in 1945. Okay. So you can you can uh, you can uh, check the period of time that it happened that uh, were well the existence of the United Nations. Uh, let me see. How long were the Beatles? Uh, how long were the Beatles together for? That one? Mm, 10 years. 10 years. 10 years, yes, that's Ten right. Years. 10 years. Okay, that's right. Yes, that's right. Okay, very good. So, we have complete the, the sessions for tonight. Okay, um, we're going to finish right now the class, but I, I will ask you, do you have any question for me uh, that you want to ask? If you want an answer, you can tell me right now. If not, well, um, I have to say goodbye, but let me tell me, do you have any question about the platform, about the exercises? In my case, oh. I don't have any teacher. No, okay. teacher, Thank you. everything is okay. Thank you. Okay, good. So if you don't have any question, so um, we're going to be just missing three classes, okay, to complete this course. And um, we're going to be working tomorrow in the Lesson number two, if you want, take a look of it, check the video and check the exercises that you have there because we're going to be working on it. Uh, well, have a nice night guys and I'll see you tomorrow. Blessings for all of you. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Yeah. Thank you. Good night. See you Good night. Good night guys.